Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, today's part two of the Top Fuel RC Drag Boat build series. Up until now, I've basically given you guys updates on the build progress. Now is the fun part. We get to install all the goodies. Okay, today we're going to be installing the twin motor motor mount that I made. I'm gonna walk you guys through my thought process. Stuffing tubes, we're going to install flex cable, collets, the struts, we're going to drill all the holes, get the rudder mounted up, uh, go over propellers, flex cable rotation, the whole nine. Okay, I've got to install a couple of ESC mounts and uh, kind of figure out my water cooling run, you know. So stick around, you guys. Big B with Ironclad RC. Running the Leopard Hobby 2860s. All right, they're 2730KV twins. Already made up a motor mount for the motors. We'll um, we'll 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 get them installed on the mount so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Get everything marked out for the stuffing tubes and for our struts. Okay, basically what I do is I just start off with a box full of freaking parts. You know, we're going to be running these 90 amp fly colors in the boat. I start out with a box full of parts and I, I don't quit until they're freaking gone. You know what I'm saying? So on these screws right here, you want to make sure when you're screwing screws into your motor, my screws were a little bit long, so I had to take them out to the grinder out there, grind them down because um, they were actually touching that dust protector right there. You want to make sure that they don't run into that or your stator, your coils, your waps, all right, your winds. This is how I came up with the motor mount. I actually had two in mind. I was gonna run them closer together, run my motors close. And I was like, well, maybe farther apart, I might get a little bit more stability because we're gonna have counter rotating props that spin outward, okay? So um, I went with the, the wider style mount, okay? Top loaded. Basically, it just kind of snaps in. You know, I got it cut and modified so that it goes under this little, this little bulkhead right here. This little, I guess, runner right there. And the mount is actually going to stiffen up and add some structure to the hull because I'm going to epoxy all the way around, basically. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at my little man. He's getting an early start. He's working on his mini mono. <laughs> this is actually a bare hull that I got to um, to make a mold off of, pull some boat holes from it. So, uh, but he's working on it. He's getting a good jump on it. Good job, buddy. His name's Axel. He just turned one year old. Say hi. Say hi. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, you got your boat. All right. So, uh, dead nut center. Dead nut center. Okay, so what I've done is uh, I, I took my feeler gauge and I put a little mark right here where my stuffing tube is going to go through the hole, around about, okay? And I did the same thing back here for my struts, okay? It just made me a, a vertical line on my transom. That inside line is the one I'm going off of. Found center for my rudder, basically got my rudder in place, and I'm basically trying to figure out where I want to mount my strut on the transom. Uh, if I go low with my bracket on my strut, I'll have enough room for my bellow. I'm going to use a bellow for this build for my rudder, and it's going to be mounted uh, from the inside. Okay, the bellow is going to go like that. I use uh, Loctite. It's a sticky putty that you use to hang pictures with to set my hardware up on the boat so it don't fall off. It actually works really really good okay, so I got my transom all laid out all right it's all laid out I, I use my adjustable ruler here to get the height on everything perfect okay and then I used my hardware I basically you know use my pencil marked out my holes and then I uh, I made sure everything was center you know from the sides of the boat I went in on both sides and I double, triple, quadruple checked everything. I got to feel that little area right there. Then I used this little hand drill bit to start my holes. And then I checked it again. Okay, made sure they were on point, on the money. Okay, because I'm going to drill them real tight like I did this one. So everything kind of holds on to the boat while I'm working on it. Also, uh, since I'm mounting these brackets low, 
I elongated my hole on both of my struts. I, I, I didn't do this one so I could show you how I did it. I used my, my adjustable ruler here and basically marked, uh, scribed a line on both of them, identical. Used my little hand drill to drill it to get it started so my bit don't wander. So it's identical on both. This is really important. And then I'm going to use a file to elongate both holes. I got to make sure both of them are exactly the same. So when you go all the way up with your strut, you have a reference point. This thing's freaking sick. So I, I've got to find my angle for my motors. Okay, I got everything mounted up on a transom. And I just threw on those uh, 38 millimeter counter rotating 1.4 pitch OSE props. Speaking of prop rotation, okay, this is a twin motor hydroplane basically. And there's not a lot of information, not a lot of information at all about propeller rotation for a twin motor hydroplane. <laughs> so I'm kind of up in the air which way I want to do it. I could go both ways, you know, um, switch my cables out, put them vice versa. But, uh, you know, this is one way. This is what one to one boats spin their props toward one another. Okay. The thrust is basically going to like be pushed in toward the center of the boat. Okay. I'm kind of leaning toward running my props outward rotating okay like i said i'll probably try it both ways but um it definitely it definitely makes a difference okay personally my thoughts about propeller rotation i would think this would be the right way to do it for this boat okay it's gonna spin the they're gonna be spinning this way okay catching the water the the they're gonna the water's gonna spin outward toward the outside of the boat possibly giving the boat a little bit more stability okay so like i said i'm up in the air what do you guys think but like I, i'm gonna try both ways just because i'm big b and that's what i freaking do but um i'll go into um the the cable rotation with the with the corresponding propeller later on in the video just know i'm not exactly sure which way i want to go with it okay uh, when you're setting up struts and rudder before you drill holes, I'm, I'm, I failed to mention this earlier, make sure your prop's not going to hit your rudder. Make sure you got plenty of room. I'm actually working on this rudder. I'm thinning it out, and we're going to shorten it up here shortly. So, uh, yeah, we're actually going to go ahead and drill the stuff a tube hole. I've got this little short piece of, of flex cable just to kind of give me a reference where I want to put my hole. Like I said, I hadn't figured out my angle yet. That's what I'm trying to work on now. So I got my holes drilled, okay? I'm actually glad I did it this way because I was planning on putting quite a bit of angle on my motors, you know? But uh, after drilling that hole, I, I don't think I'm going to need it, okay? I think I can run a little bit lower angle like so, put a gradual bend in my stuffing tube, you know, keep it angled. Well, this isn't right, but... You guys get the idea. You know what I'm saying? It actually looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay. So I'll start off with a straight stuffing tube and then I'll gradually put my bend in it as I tune the boat, run the boat. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and take these motors out. All right. And uh, we'll go ahead and epoxy this in. I'm going to put some, scribe some lines in there so I kind of know where I'm going with it. So what I did was I just drilled a, a hole here you know uh, two holes from two for dual cooling okay um and i drilled a, a long slit for my jst so i can run wires through my my motor mount okay i was actually gonna cut it out you know like cut it out like a little circle right here but uh i figured that would look better you know a little bit more tidy kind of hold everything in place um i've got my esc mounts cut out and 
mocked up for size okay it's just a little piece of carbon fiber here it's basically gonna go right there you guys see that okay and i'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, epoxy those into place i got this old 90 amp esc i cut the wires off of it i keep the wires for uh making jumper loops and stuff but uh i'm gonna use my esc to get the the distance right you know so my esc is basically basically going to sit right here in this cutout that i made and uh i'm gonna I'm use that to get the depth of the esc mount on point okay so uh like i said i'm not going to video this part it's easy it's just epoxying a couple pieces of carbon fiber in the boat you know uh so i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done it'll be tomorrow for me a few seconds for you guys so enjoy the little clip i include linear throttle oh yeah oh yeah full trigger nice 85 knots and no smoke <laughs> all right you guys so i got my, my my motor mount installed okay and i got my esc's mounts mounted up they actually look pretty good identical on both sides all right uh while i was waiting i actually took this stuffing tube uh my, my soft stuffing tube i'm gonna use to mock up the boat just so i can kind of see what's going on and i went ahead and put a bend in it okay uh, i think i got it about where i want it that looks pretty good the height on my strut looks good the angle looks pretty good to start off with okay so i actually got my motor here and um we're gonna pull this stuff into that i went ahead and made a mark where i'm going to cut my stuff into if i need to make it longer or shorter on the main one i will like i said earlier it's a real thinking man's game and then what i'm doing is i'm i'm talking you guys through my build uh what i do what my thought process is what i'm i'm thinking and what my plans are and what plans that doesn't pan out were you know so uh i apologize for talking so much you guys it, it's a lot to a building a scratch built boat all right so i got my motor in i got my collet in flex cables on stuffing tubes in and i actually need to work on my angle of my stuffing tube it's not lining up exactly so i need to bring my hole back a little bit so i can elongate that angle okay um i got my strut basically where i'm gonna run it my first few runs okay got my ride height gauge here it's about level i may actually start it off like i said up a little higher but the angle looks pretty good just to start with uh it might be too much angle you know i'm gonna have two props back here lifting but it's gonna be a heavy boat so uh we'll see we'll see all right i'm um i'm thinking about my cooling already originally i only drilled two holes for my water lines and i forgot i had this y splitter so I, I drilled a top hole right like dead center you know just in case i end up running this y splitter what i'm trying to do is keep the weight down in the back you know what i'm saying so the, the single lines opposed to dual lines with blast pickups and all that stuff uh single lines gonna be lighter so i'm gonna go i'm gonna try this if not i'll run dual cooling which i have the holes drilled for you know um so I'm gonna go to my Y splitter. Y splitter is gonna go to each ESC. Okay, so to my ESC, around the ESC, out to speed control, into the motor, and out the boat. So where am I gonna put the exit? Okay, so um, my, my ESC is basically gonna be sitting right here. Okay, so I might be able to squeeze it under my speed control. Go under my speed control like so and put an exit low like right right here okay or or i can come out my motor go under under the motor all right go under the motor and put my exit right here on each side you see what i'm saying i've also considered coming out my motor going straight down through the bottom of the boat put two exits right here so the water exits under the boat so those are all things i'm considering if it goes under the boat you can't see uh the boat cooling oxy marine used to do that on his boats i think he had some complaints about not being able to see the water flow so he stopped doing it i think it's a great idea you know and you think about it a couple streams of water it lifts the boat <laughs> 
kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just, you know. So, um, so yeah, that's my thoughts. That's kind of what I'm doing here. So, um, I actually need to work on that stuff into the angle. Okay, I got actually got quite a ways to go, so I'm gonna have to actually cut under this bulkhead, and probably gonna have to fill some of that forward hole I drilled, which is fine. I planned on that anyway so i got both of the motors installed i've been working on the through hole for the stuffing tube for like the last two hours that's why i haven't been videoing like all the process i've been walking you guys through it um i got both of them like filed and sanded identical okay um i had to get more angle and i brought my hole back like i mentioned earlier and um, I had to match them both up and get them lined up with the motor. So I used like a sanding board right here, you know, in both of them, getting them lined up. Uh, I thought I was going to have a big gap, but I'm, I'm not. It actually looks pretty good. I got the angle right. So we're going to uh, bend the stuffing tube, the 732nd stuffing tube, okay? Um, that... The, it looks perfect. It looks like it's gonna match up perfect. I've, I've tried to stuff and tube on both sides. It looks it looks mint. Okay, so uh, that kind of brings me to this. Okay, counter rotating propellers. All right, on a single motor boat, you have counter clockwise rotation. Okay, counter counter clockwise. On a twin motor boat, you have counter rotating propellers. So you need a right hand rotating propeller and a left hand rotating propeller okay this is the easiest way to show you guys your flex cables need to be counter rotating as well matched up with the rotation of the propeller so this is a single engine single motor flex cable okay you guys see the twist pattern on this cable this is a counterclockwise rotating cable for a single motor all right that's matched up with left hand counterclockwise rotating propeller okay counterclockwise single cable counterclockwise twin cable and then you have your clockwise rotating cable so you guys can you see the difference in the wrap on the cable okay you see how these two match and then this one's opposite all right so you need to make sure you've got those right if not you got the wrong propeller on the wrong shaft or vice versa shaft motor uh, once you take off it's gonna basically unravel this cable and it's basically gonna get bunched up in your stuffing tube the stuffing tube will constrict the cable and you'll probably spin it so make sure that this is right uh, correct me if I'm wrong but that's pretty much right okay so we're gonna go ahead and bend this stuffing tube no liner okay no liner what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just marking the end of my stuffing tube that's going in the boat. Um, I've got my, my stuffing tubes pre-cut here. Okay, I went ahead and cut them to length. And I'm going to mark the inside stuffing tube on both of my permanent tubes here. Okay, so I don't get my bins mixed up. Alright, and um, I'm going to go ahead and slide one in the hole. Kind of get it where I want it in the boat couple millimeters gap between the the collet okay and I'm gonna kind of mark inside the boat and I'm gonna mark where it ends outside the boat kind of give me a little reference probably need to do it to this one as well so I can ha kind of have an idea of what, what I'm doing here so I'm gonna mark this one you don't have to pre-bend your stuff into it's just helping me out with this build. I normally don't do that. I normally just bend it, you know. Okay, okay. So that's good. All right. Okay, so I basically need to put my bend about center ways. Okay, so about right here. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a long drawn out bend basically and most of my bend is gonna be uh, like starting around my through hole right here basically a whole center of the the the, 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 sh uh, the tube so I, I just basically bend it like this you know I, I don't use no, no no tube benders I just ever so gently and slightly bend my tube 
I usually don't put hard bends in it, so there's no sense in using a tube bender. I just kind of consolidate my bend, you know. And then I'll put it in the boat, and I'll put my strut on, okay, and basically go back and forth till I get it where I want it, you know. So I've got to bend both of these identical. But that's how I do it. You know, you want to make sure you're bent straight with the bottom of the boat. And make sure you got it lined up to the motor. Damn, that looks pretty good. Let's throw a flex cable in. That's really going to tell us. I throw my flex cable in. Get it lined up to my collet. Damn, I got it right. I got it right the first time. So that's basically her. She went right into the collet. Can you guys see that? Hopefully. Okay. I got a little bit of angle on it. We'll put it on a flat top. So I'm going to go ahead and bend my other one. I'm not going to video that. And um, I'll cut back in once I get both of them identical. And we'll put it on a flat top. Kind of see what's going on with both of them. Make sure they're both in line. Alright. It's a lot to it. Two of everything. You got to do two of everything on a twin motor. Oh, it's fun though. It's fun. I really can't wait to get this thing on the freaking water. Oh, I'm freaking excited. I am stoked out my mind. <laughs> so y'all see me bend... The, the one stuffing tube, I just matched it up on the other one, and it, it's actually very cumbersome. And it, it, it literally took me two hours. I, I've been working on it for two hours since I posted my last little insert into the video. So I basically got them where I want them. Okay, I got my, my stuffing tubes cut to length. I've got them, like, the bends are identical, identical. Okay, I've got the, the angle right. I pushed my cable right into the collet. I actually went ahead and cut my collets. I meant my, st jeez, my my flex cables to size. Okay, I actually cut them about three millimeters long, just in case I need to flatten them out. You know, it it'll uh, I'll have enough cable. Plus, I need that gap for my drive dog. I can move. I hadn't cut my slit for my drive dog, so I could push that drive dog forward or back if I need to. So I'm um I'm sitting here messing around. I got like you know 17 right behind my sponson basically. I think I'm gonna start off with a a level ride height, perfectly level. That's where I'm gonna start at. Okay, and I go from there with it. You know I've got my struts basically the same angle on both of them. The stuffing tube is the same. Okay, and um that's where I could start at. I got that shim on my my strut to shim up the, the stuffing tube. I'm basically using that so when I flatten my strut out, if I have, if it, if it like, my strut moves back a lot, I'll have um, some wiggle room with my stuffing tube strut connection, you know? So I'll show you what it looks like uh, this way. Okay, perfectly straight. You gotta make sure everything's identical. You know, it's really important. Uh, perfectly straight here straight shot to the motors okay you guys see that it don't look straight like this but when you look at them each one in in relation to the outside of the boat it's straight you know uh you guys see my my, my holes they were drilled perfect okay so i think i'm gonna go ahead and epoxy them in the boat we spent the better part of my saturday working on this freaking these two holes and bend in two freaking stuffing tubes. Oh, I probably got you guys zoomed in too far. Oh, man. Oh, well, I did actually get in between, like, like scratching my head and, like, freaking out. I actually uh, got this right here all scribed out. I'll kind of go over this in the next video. This is my battery tray. Uh, so I did get that done. All right. <laughs> and still up in the air on proper rotation you know but um I, you know i still got plenty of time to think about that so i've actually got some bob smith 30 minute epoxy mixed up get this from uh ose you can also get it from zip kits um i actually put a little bit of rubbing 91 percent rubbing alcohol in my epoxy here okay so i can go pretty thin with the epoxy it'll seep into the wood grains that i have exposed here I'll probably have to do it twice, and you guys probably won't see the second application because it's actually a really long freaking video. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm just going to go kind of light. I actually mixed it way too freaking much. I probably need to let it sit up for a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and put some in here. 
so it can seep down into these little voids okay and um like i said i'm gonna try to go light back here especially anything up forward i can go heavy at, but i'm trying to keep this damn back in my boat light i still got to put a servo back here i do stuff the hard way man i go to hard i go the long way around you know like uh like my battery tray i i made a a piece of wood out first and then i, I tra basically transferred it onto the carbon fiber hell i did the same thing with the boat actually i did the same thing throughout the whole freaking boat build even the stuffing tube you guys seen i did a sacrificial stuffing tube bend <laughs> i've literally built this boat twice man twice basically you know uh just you know i want the boat to be like freaking perfect y'all i'm not even kidding so i've literally taken my sweet time on the build yeah, so it's actually running through, so that's good. That's what I want. It's actually running through a little too much. So I'll actually clean that up through my, my epoxy process. I'm so it's the next day. All right, everything's cured out. Got good alignment on my flex cables. All right, you can't even hear the cable hitting the freaking stuff into. You know, it sounds good. That one's actually a little bit loud, but the alignment's like perfect. Okay, when I, as the epoxy was curing out, I checked everything double triple quadruple checked all my angles on my alignment and uh it, it's turning out really good i'm about to let you guys go i know the video is long but uh just wanted to show you guys what it looked like fully cured i tried to go light with the epoxy light as i could light as i could get away with anyway um the next video we're doing a servo battery tray and possibly possibly get the motor spooled up i don't know i still gotta uh solder up connectors and all that stuff but um i think it's turning out great you guys boat building it, it's something special you know and it don't happen overnight man uh like building an rc car you basically bolt everything on building a boat you gotta wait for epoxies to cure you gotta you know oh everything's not like uh factory finished to fit a boat you gotta modify and 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 and, and think you know it's a thinking man's hobby like i said so hopefully my thought process helps you guys out you know um don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Drop comments. Let me know what you guys think about the props. Um, I was thinking about it. If I have the props spinning in toward one another, that might make more lift. You know, my, the boat might be a little bit more unstable, but it might lift the butt back of the boat. You know, that's what a one of them drag boats do inward. So uh, drop comments. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging in there. Big B, we're at RC.